Good morning again guys, I proper overlaid and didn't get a chance to go to Crystal Pizza to buy some dollars like I said yesterday. Literally I keep waking up all night with toothache, so like I've constantly woke up about three or four times with toothache and I just go and get some paracetamol just to get back to sleep. So I've literally just woken up about 20 minutes ago, got a quick bath and then get some food and then get myself ready for work because I've got to set off in like the next couple of hours so I haven't really got time to head down, get some dollars and get back. So I'm going to go next week on my day off, I've got next Wednesday off so I can pop down in the morning and pick them up before, uh, before I do anything that day. Uh, depending how uh, hungover I feel after tomorrow, uh, depending if I still need to stay in bed all day. But I should be fine. I've got a uh, yeah, little shift today, small shift tomorrow, then staff party tomorrow night which I'm looking forward to. Small shift on Tuesday, and like I say I'm off Wednesday, so I should be fine by Wednesday. Just get up, get a peek, get some dollars and then uh, get back and find something to do for this today. Because I'm not sure what everyone's working at the minute. I'll, uh, I'll text around come next week, there's no point now because it could change again like it did last week. So see, but for now I'm just gonna like I say quickly get dressed and then uh we'll find some food. Well I finally made some food and I've made the very first omelette I've ever made. Like I've never made an omelette before and I just kinda winged it a little bit of how to make it. Well I did Google the instructions a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, I kinda winged it through. But it kinda came out very nice. It smells nice now, we'll just see what it tastes like. That's that's the big question. So yeah, I've got like oh, I've got no yeah, about an hour now and a bit before I have to get ready for it. So I'm gonna enjoy my omelette and then watch a bit of TV and sort my bag out ready for tomorrow because I'm gonna have to take a bigger bag since I'm going out straight from work. So I need to probably fill that bag up with what I'm wearing tomorrow night. So yeah, busy, busy, busy. I'm gonna need to uh, sort out Florida because my dad have given me like a list of stuff for dollars and they say you can get like. Pretty good offer, uh, not Thomas Cook, but a different one at Crystal Pete. So, me and my dad are gonna call down next week when I've got a day off. So, probably wait to do so. Hey guys, I just finished that one, and it was right now. But I've just been playing on Facebook, I found a brand new feature I didn't even know over there. Look, it says find Wi Fi. Right, find free and public Wi Fi, enable find Wi Fi. Top settings, okay. right. let's see what it's about. Location. See if it works. Ah, cool. Alright. It literally comes up with like. Oh. I'm guessing these are free Wi Fi spots. <laughs> yeah. Literally has little zoom a bit. Little spots here, you can see little dots. Literally tells you where this free Wi Fi near where you are. Alright, let's uh, go back to me. Okay. I'm not even there, it's not even me. Oh, look. The pub's got free Wi Fi. Free Wi Fi there. Oh, all, right. <laughs> all these places were different. Huh. All those places were like free Wi Fi. That's I say a good idea, but also an idea of how technology is actually taking over. But that is a pretty good idea. Like you could just be driving down and then you're like, oh, you're like I need Wi Fi to get some connection to. Like Google Maps, some things to find where I'm going. So you click on Facebook, free Wi Fi. But the only downside I think to it is for you to find free Wi Fi, you need internet. So you only need internet for you to find free Wi Fi. So it's good if you can plan a journey ahead. So, like, before you leave the house, like, use your Wi Fi at home, find out where there's free Wi Fi in your way, and then do it. 
but also many people now and a lot of places definitely have free Wi-Fi. Like every McDonald's is free Wi-Fi, every Starbucks is free Wi-Fi, every Pizza Hut, KFC, you know, everywhere is free Wi-Fi. It's kind of a little bit pointless at the same time. Especially, like I said, you need your internet to find the free Wi-Fi hotspots. And like I said, at the same time, a lot of places already have free Wi-Fi. So it's kind of pointless and kind of a good idea at the same time. But on another note, I just want to mention today is National Cancer Day and I lost my nan to cancer a few years back and I, that's why I got the Stay Strong tattoos for my nan and it's hard, like, there's so many people out there who probably lost someone to cancer. It is hard knowing that, like, we all die, everyone, no one lives forever but it's harder knowing that when my nan got diagnosed with cancer, I... I knew that one day down the line she is going to pass away, so it's harder knowing that it's going to happen sooner than it did. But the day my nan died, I was going to go. Like I wasn't going to go to the hospital. This is why I I've got a lot to thank my ex-girlfriend really far because she dragged me to the hospital that day. I didn't want to go. I hate hospitals. Like. I will not go to hospital if I don't have to. I really hate the places. I just, I don't understand why. I've never understood why, but I just don't like hospitals. <coughs> a lot of people are the same. But my ex-girlfriend dragged me to the hospital that day. The night before, I got told my nan wanted my granddad there. She knew that that was it. She wanted my granddad there. So my granddad went up, my uncles went up the night before. My granddad spent the entire night there. I went up with my nan, uh, my nan with my girlfriend at the time, and I laid with my nan, and I was there holding her hand until she passed away. Like I literally just laid next to her, holding her hand, like laid on her, I laid on her stomach, holding her hand. Like my, sorry, it's a bit, it's a bit hard still thinking about because literally my nan was my favourite. She was my favourite person. Like honestly, she could turn any bad situation to good. I've had so many good times with my nan, it's just... But like, at least I've still got the memories there. I can still literally remember so many trips to like the seaside, to like Blackpool. The last trip we did as a massive family down to Torquay. My granddad paid for for my nan's 60th, I think it was. The trip we had for my nan's 50th to Disneyland Paris when my cousin jumped in the middle of the swimming pool, she was only like three, and I had to swim to the middle, and maybe I'll save her from drowning, because she didn't have her armbands on. So yeah, there's so many good times, but also, this is a bad time of me being there, holding her hand when she died. Like, my uncles had to literally drag me out of that hospital, because I did not want to go. I didn't really want to say goodbye, but like I said, I knew it was coming. So yeah, today, means a lot to me because of my nan and the, how much she meant to me and I know there's a lot of people out there as well who's lost someone loved ones to cancer and it's a fucking disgrace cancer like it's just one of them things some people survive some don't and you know it's it's just horrible but at the end of it all I still like I said I have the memories of my nan so yeah if anyone out there has any relatives with cancer, knowing that this is it and like knowing that they're not going to make it through, just literally cherish every single moment you have with them. If it's your brother, sister, mum, dad, auntie, uncle, nan, anybody, just cherish every single moment and keep their memories. Because that's what I did with my nan. Literally just cherish every single moment we had. We was going to go to... Uh, Talky again before she died but we didn't get the chance because she was literally getting weaker and weaker and you could tell but like I said we still have the memories of the last time we went down to Turkey and how my nan tried getting in the pool and belly flopped literally there's so many memories I've got so many photos I've got a photo from the last time my nan and granddad had the last dance for the wedding anniversary so they're what I need to keep and like I said, if anyone's got anyone suffering from it, just push through. You know it's hard to just knowing your relative's not going to be there at some time in the near future, but just remember 
and keep all of the memories, create memories while you've still got the time, you've got the chance and just literally keep the memories in your head. Because it's going to be hard and when the time comes it's going to be a lot harder than some people think. But just literally keep hold of the memories, that's all I'm trying to say is just keep the memories and eventually it will not get easier but it will get easier in another sense of you have still got their memories that's all I keep doing is just keeping hold of them so for anyone who's out there who knows anyone suffering from cancer it's a fucking joke cancer like it literally can destroy families in seconds destroy people but just keep your head up push through and like I said keep hold of create memories and keep hold of them and it'll just keep me going through the darker times <laughs> like I still look at pictures of my nan and granddad from their anniversary because I lost my granddad last year as well and I just keep looking at that picture and that pushes me through the darker times that's what my nan used to do she was there to help me through the darker times so yeah <clears throat> just create memories and keep hold of them hey guys finally off to work again <laughs> It's one of them days though where I kind of wish I had a day off because it's Sunday. I've just come outside and it's literally dry. We've got like an Instagram group chat for Curb Crusher. And by sounds things, everyone's in Leeds today, which makes it more like depressing that I'm off to work and I could be in Leeds. Because it's such a nice day. It's not warm, but it's not that warm, but you can tell it's starting to like, winter's starting to die off and spring's on just around the corner sort of thing because it's a lot drier and a lot nicer than it has been. Hopefully it's the same tomorrow because, like I said, I don't want to go out in too much because we're going out into clubs and stuff afterwards. But I don't want to be cold at the same time because last time we went out on the night out, we came back in, I was ill for like two weeks. So I'm literally just going to go out in a t-shirt and a demo jacket and hopefully it'll be warm enough tomorrow. But yeah, it's pretty nice out here. I was gonna, like, if they were skating in Sheffield, go to Sheffield for the morning and uh, see everyone just hang around and then head straight to work. But I couldn't do that because they didn't go to Sheffield, they've gone to Leeds. But hopefully I get to uh, have a weekend off at some point or a day off before Florida and get to skate with everyone before I go because it's literally like four weeks away now. Yeah, it's literally like four or five week away. Uh, so hopefully I get like the odd weekend day off to actually go and skate with everybody. I know I get to like skate the house and stuff on the odd weekdays, but hopefully I get a weekend off to have a trip before I go to Florida. I know I've not got next weekend off. I know I haven't got the weekend off for Florida because I'll be travelling. So hopefully in between that I get some time off. We'll see, even if it's just Saturday or Sunday, just to go and uh, have a little skate. But for now, to get these few hours at work out of the way and then uh, get tomorrow out of the way and then have a night off for the staff party and actually see if we can have a really good night. Hey right, guys, it's another day, another easy Sunday finish day. Done nice and early, get hurry up and get this tram. I can get home early to get enough time to upload the vlog. Well, I edit the vlog, upload the vlog, get some food and get some early sleep because I'm up again at six. And I know I'm going to be pretty tired come the morning because, well, I'm pretty, pretty tired in the morning because of obvious reasons to get up at six. I'm also going to be pretty tired come tomorrow night because we're going to be out all night at the staff do. I'm glad today's all put it because literally as soon as I finish work tomorrow it is a staff party and I'm really looking forward to it. Guys, everyone's been constantly on about it today at work so it'll be a good night. But for now, I need to hurry up and make this trap because I'm not sure when it comes because they're still like they're every I don't know what time they are on Sundays because they changed every 12 minutes during the week and then God knows what they are on Sundays. So I need to uh the hurt, otherwise I ain't getting on. I'm going to sit around another 20 minutes, I reckon. For enough Because all I know is they're every 20 minutes, but I don't know where they're every 20 minutes from, if you know what I mean. So, that's her. It's definitely one of the worst things 
but I like working later in the day. It's come literally like, I used to to it around about half one, and then now it's like nine o'clock at night and I'm hungry. <laughs> That's the worst bit, like, I eat so early before I even start for work. Come like seven, eight o'clock, I'm hungry again. So it's not really good. To be honest, it's like a really messed up <laughs> eating, like, whatever you want to call it, eating cycle or something. So like tomorrow I'll eat at like half six and then probably not eat till I finish work at like three. So it's like a good what nine hours without anything to eat. Luckily I've got some I've got like five minutes. Okay. Yeah. Right, yeah, it's fine. Sorry, I was just yawning. I could already feel myself. I'm gonna be really tired already tomorrow. Like I'm tired now, I can already Honestly, feel I don't know how it works, but I actually can feel myself gonna be tired. Come well, especially come the morning, but come tomorrow night, I know it's uh, it's gonna happen. So I'm gonna call it a night now because I'm gonna get in, in literally just the usual routine of get the vlog up and then get some sleep ready for tomorrow. And I need to remember to sort my bag out, uh, otherwise I'm gonna have no change of clothes to change into for tomorrow night. So I will see you guys tomorrow as always. Night, guys.